Hello everyone, Tough Monkey here, hope that you're well. Okay, this is round four of the July the 4th Independence Day challenge that we've been doing. Now I've already been asked to do a tutorial video for this one, uh, which is perhaps a bit silly really, because it's not a track I favour. In fact, I don't like it at all. It's probably because we don't really tend to do it in any of the events, and it's only really in the uh, rotations for the championships, which I don't tend to do very much these days. So I've not really had much practice on it, but here goes anyway. Uh, I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible because this is uh, Thursday lunchtime, and for the next couple of days it's due to be uh, raining. So uh, if you're going to take anything from a video, you're going to have to do it now. Anyway, crashing on. Uh, this is the first of two videos I'm going to show you here. This is in the Le Mans Basic. Um, this was only a fraction of a second slower than what I did in the uh, Le Mans Motorsport B-Stroke F. Uh, and it shows how close these two carts are. You don't need the very best cart to get good times. In fact, if anything, I was more comfortable in this cart than I was in the BF. Now you'll see from this one that this is actually quite a smooth run that I put together here. I don't do anything that I look at and think, mm, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, it's pretty decent. So as we head on to the uh, start of the second uh, lap, the first flying lap, uh, lose a bit of speed going into the first corner and then nail it all the way through this, take as much curb as you can here without going across the grass just. Now I did always used to keep my left wheels on the red and white curb there, but having seen other videos, it seems that going across this green strip is fair game. So as long as you've got your wheels back on the track before you get to the grass, I think it's all right. And then flat out through this left, trying to keep the tyre scrub to a minimum. And then you've got a tricky complex of corners. Lose speed early and try and keep it tight here. And then open the steering and open the throttle. Avoid running out to the right there. Uh, flat out through that corner, don't go over the kerb. Then lose a bit of speed for this right hander. And then open up the throttle again and open up the steering wheel. Early on the brakes here so you can get back on the throttle early. And run it out wide. And then move it back to the centre of the track so you can take a straight line across that bit of grass. Ever so slight lift as you turn in there and watch the bump and then do it all again for the final lap. Now as a bit of a side, what is it with the AI in Gibson? In every other run I did, there was at least one AI sat behind the barrier just on the right hand side here. I can't understand it, how did they get there? Well, I suppose better off behind that barrier than ploughing into the back end of me. Anyway, I didn't mention at the start of this video that both the parallels that I'm running in these videos have both got the Remo engine, they've both got the Firebird level four exhaust and they've both got the AF radiator on them. Everything else is obviously as lightweight as I possibly can get it. Anyway, that's the end of the first run. This was a uh, 152.928. As you'll see from the next video, it was only less than three hundredths of a second slower than what I did in the uh, Parallel Motorsport B-Stroke F. I've shown you both of these videos because I wanted you to see for yourself that there's very little in between these two carts and there's really no need to go out and buy the uh, better spec cart if you don't really want to. Uh, and also, that first video you've seen, I think it was pretty smooth. This next video that you're going to see, uh, I wasn't too keen on it. I'm bouncing off walls, I'm skipping over curbs that I shouldn't be doing. I wasn't happy with it, but it is my fastest time. It says to me, if I could tidy this up, there's probably two or three tenths that I could make out of this. But if you're watching this video to follow my lines, I'd recommend you follow the lines from the first video. They were so much cleaner, I'm far happier with that first run. But because this is my fastest run and I did capture it on video, here it is. Do what you want with it, pick it apart, there's plenty to fault on it. Uh, there's even one bit where I skip too tightly across the kerb in my view, I think I cut it. So uh, do what you want, this isn't my favourite run but enjoy. This is the corner coming up, I think I took it too tight. I'm not sure I got back on the track before the end of the rumble strip. But oh look, there's the AI again.
I'll be honest, I was totally surprised at that time when it flashed up. I thought that was at least half a second slower than that. I'm not proud of that run, don't like it at all. I'd rather it didn't exist. But there you go, my two fastest runs at Gibson in two different paralleling carts. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna slide down the leaderboard. It really isn't my favorite track, but hopefully you've seen something there that'll help you out. See you later.